we could add uh, more divisions here on the lip. We can do a quad and a quad right here or something, and that will basically turn the lip in. It will add more detail here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to actually add a loop, bring it in pretty close to sharpen out up the uh, upper lip a little bit. And then I'm going to grab these down here. Actually, let's just grab these two. Control plus. Let's, let's smooth that. Let's actually move it out on X a little bit as well. There we go. And now down here, it's a little bit too much. So let's grow that, smooth it several times, apparently. And we can even smooth these up just a little bit. There we go. This is a nice sharp lip. Let's actually kind of pull these in. Play those up and back a little bit. Okay. Well, we don't need to do too much more. Um, I'm going to copy this eye, though. And I'm going to hit Shift-C to put the cursor back in the center of the view. And Shift-D to copy that. Let's hit M. Whoops, not M. Control-M. And we'll want to mirror it on the X local, which didn't do anything because I forgot that just basically flips it around. Um, but we can get the uh, object properties. N is the hotkey. I don't know where to find it in the menu. I thought I would look for it, but uh, I don't know what it is. So we got 0.479. Let's just set this one to minus, minus 0.479. Nine, hit enter. I'll put our other eye in there. And somehow we managed to pull it forward a little bit. Let's just erase the object. Shift D, right click to leave it where it is. Just add a minus or append it to it. And there we go. So that's it. I want to thank everybody for watching. This was a fairly short video as I didn't need to do a whole lot. Um, Actually, there's one more thing to do before I take off. Let's finish out this esophagus. Not a lot of hard work, but needs to be done. So I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe. Uh, e to extrude. R to rotate. Let's do it again. Only edges. Let's just take this down. Scale it a little bit. Rotate it and do it one more time. There we go. So let's scale that a little bit on X. Grab it, move it on X. Whoa, not that much. And <clears throat> let's grab this loop right above that one. Not that one, that one. Let's move that a little bit on X because when we scale it, it's not uh, not really scaling too much on X. So, And I'm actually going to scale this one just a little bit also. There we go. We'll not scale it, but move it. There we go. And this one, I'll scale it up just a little. Literally, we'll scale it up just a little bit. There we go. So now we have an esophagus. Tab out of that. Hit Z again. We'll take us into shaded mode. Or solid mode, not shaded. Hit Shift Z. It's shaded. Yep. And then Z, Z. There we go. <laughs> anyway, again, uh, thanks for watching. That ear is a little bit tiny. 
And we got a little bit of uh, odd geometry. I keep uh, keep saying I'm taking off, and then I keep doing stuff. What's going on with that? You got to know when to say when on your model. Uh, one of my problems is just that. I don't know when to let go. There we go. That helps a bit. Okay, and I'm actually going to go to the side. A to deselect those. Let's go to make sure backside is on B. B for brush and select all of that. All of it. Every last piece. S and we'll just scale it. Not down. We'll scale it up. There we go. Scale it down just a little bit. That might be a bit big. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little bit better to me. It's a little bit large now. <laughs> She's a little bit goofy. I'm going to hold down shift and scale it in a little. S, shift, scale. There we go. That's a bit better. So anyway, uh, thank everybody for watching. And hopefully you'll continue on with these tutorials. Because I, I need to feed my family. <laughs> Literally. So, uh, seriously. Uh, well, that was serious. But seriously, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I hope you're uh, learning something. That's really important to me. Is that... Uh, you're getting something out of this and I, I realize that these are not uh, like I said before the most professional I'm not working at Pixar like I said before but uh, it should be enough to get people going on their way uh, to character modeling and things like that so anyway uh, thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next series when we start modeling her body so until then I'll see you guys later